The asset price. Asset price, which has been given as 52.25. Then we've been given the volatility. Which is 0 0.35. Then we've been given the risk free rate. As 4.8 and this is this is the continuously continuously compounded risk free rate finally we have the our exercise our X which is our exercise as as 50 And then we are asked to, to calculate or to value, to give, to give the, the value of the call option and the put option. And this is, these are our variables. And then uh, there's one thing we did not define here, which is our volatility. This means volatility, which we also said that it refers to the standard deviation. How does it vary? What is the standard deviation? So we'll start with the with determining the first thing we do we are we are using this variable or this particulars in our example to value the call option and you're saying that the formula for the call option is this so before we we we, we get to use the the call option uh, formula we are going to determine the d1 and the d2 and then now uh, insert them in in our in our call formula so we're going to start with calculating d1 and you're saying that d1 is the natural log of our asset price divided by our exercise price plus our risk free rate which is continuously compounded uh, then plus the var our variance which you're calling the volatility which is denoted by sigma this symbol is called sigma squared times t over sigma square root of t so in our example we have the ln of uh, our asset price is 52.25 then we are dividing by our exercise price. And in this case, our exercise price is 50. So we have that. And then we are adding our, co our continuously compounded risk-free rate. I convert it in decimal into decimal. It's 488 plus into bracket 0 0.5 times... 0. Point, our volatility is 0 0.35 squared. Then we have our time. Our time, according to our question, we were told that the option expires in nine months. So time So when you're given in terms of nine months, we have convert to convert this one in terms of uh, annual uh, an annual uh, rate. So this would be nine out of one year has twelve months. So this translates to zero point seven five. So I'm going to use zero point five to stand for nine over twelve. So this is zero point seven five. Then we're dividing all this by our our sigma, which represents our volatility. And you're saying in our question our volatility is 0 0.35. Then we are multiplying by the square root of time. And our time is 0 0.75, which is 9 divided by 12. So we are going to compute. So we'll start with this bit. So we're saying that 52.25, which is our spot price or asset price, 0.25 divided by 50, the natural log. That is giving us, so our D1, the first bit, the, the 52.25 divided by 50, 
uh, natural log is giving us 0 0.0440. So plus. So our expression. So we're saying 0. 0 0.5 times 0. 0 0.35. 0.35 squared plus our risk free rate compounded continuously 0 0.0488 times time which is 0 0.75 it's giving us 0 0.08253 and we are dividing by the square root of 0 0.75 times 0 0.35 being our volatility so we are dividing by 0 0.3031 so our d1 our d1 will be 0 0.0440 plus 0. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tomboya Street, Pioneer House, third floor, opposite fire station.